Hi, Nate here with Mock Motion. We are in beautiful Minnesota at Hydro Solutions of Duluth. Uh, our customer has a late 90s vintage jet edge machine. Uh, the control was failing. Um, they were constantly having drive faults and problems with the control. Um, the iron was still good on the machine, so they chose to uh, do a complete retrofit of the machine. We updated the front end control. Uh, we replaced the electrical enclosure for the customer and provided new servos. This is a very cool, unique machine. Difficult to replace, difficult to move, definitely worth the investment to give the machine uh, a second life, uh, keep it running and making parts. Well, you know, when we got going, um, we knew that the system that was wearing down from mechanical, okay, and, and getting larger, we're always able to, I feel like oh, that's something I can fix. If it's mechanics, I can see it, I can, I can make it better. And uh, so we've always maintained that portion, but it was approaching a, a, a end of life or a life extension requirement time for the mechanics of it. And then the, the big element was that the obsolescence of the software and the control. The, the bones of this machine have been good forever. It is, and we have been told over and over by countless people that have come in, um, both competitive and non-competitive with this product that we have out there, that don't ever trade the machine. Uh, you're not gonna get as good a one. And today they'll still tell you that. We had an understanding of what we needed to have installed. So we were ready on Monday morning when um, when the guys showed up. By Tuesday, end of day Tuesday, we were literally in motion again. Um, so it was just incredible that we could get that far along. Now we can get our guy in here for the calibration, which we did on, a, I believe, a Thursday. We cut parts on Thursday of the, that first week. Remarkably, that was exactly the schedule we had planned. We made parts for this machine on this machine. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have to uh, really engineer anything except for the mounting plates. Yeah. That was the, really the only thing that I really had to draft and, and fabricate. And so that's why I thought it was super simple yeah. to get this. That was the hardest part was the Z, and it wasn't that hard. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the wireless pendant. I mean, I can take it over here if I need to go do something else and take it anywhere in this building, basically. It's, it's really nice to have that feature. Uh, our previous one was wired, so it was, it was a little different. Another thing that I really liked was, was your feet override. If I wanted to make it go a little slower, I just turn that down. If for whatever reason I needed to speed it up or slow it down, it's really easy to do. So if I wanted to manually cut, I can just hit that jet on and hit cycle start. It'll turn whatever head I have okay. on here that yeah. way. Um, if I say I wanted, when I'm done with this and I wanted to just cut it off, I can hit Y cut, cut to zero and it will cut it all the way back oh, cool. to where I had it set. Awesome. Uh, just little things like that made it, made it really, really simple to operate. One of the key things I think that happened was you sending us that controller as a demo and it sat on this table and, and the guys here got to play with it. And that's where we discovered what, what we were missing from the hand control and how can we adapt this unit to our needs and and then that was where you stepped into how about we do this and so we were able to get something that we didn't plan on and it turned out to be one of the biggest advantageous things we've done on the upgrade we're very happy with that the addition of that uh, z-axis servo yeah. you know that was a game changer for not something you didn't even realize you didn't have that you didn't need um, you know and so that's become a very good piece for us too Mock Motion, you know, was the one that was engageable, you know, so we're ready, help us, we have a solution. And so that's what motivated the, the move to that piece. And it, and it was a very comfortable, comfortable um, process. If you have a machine you'd like to upgrade or are interested in a demo on our controller, 
please reach out to us, talk to us, and see what we can do for you. Please like, share, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.